Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. John Sally. John Thomas Sally is an American retired professional basketball player, actor, and talk show host. He was the first player in NBA history to play on three different championship winning franchises, as well as the first player in the NBA to win a championship in three different decades. After being drafted in the first round out of Georgia Tech in 1986, the 6 11 Sally played both power forward and center for the Detroit Pistons, Miami Heat, Toronto Raptors, Chicago Bulls, Panathinaikos, and Los Angeles Lakers. He was a longtime host of the former Fox Sports Net show The Best Damn Sports Show. Period. Early life Sally was born in Brooklyn, New York. Sally played high school ball at Canersey High School in Brooklyn. He is a 1988 graduate of Georgia Tech's College of Management. He holds Georgia Tech's personal fouls record and has had his jersey number 22 retired, a very rare honor in college basketball. Detroit Pistons Sally was drafted by the Detroit Pistons in the first round of the 1986 NBA draft out of Georgia Tech. After joining the Pistons, he became close friends with Adrian Dantley, who taught him proper nutrition, how to exercise, and how to conduct himself off the court. Sally, for his part, called Dantley the teacher. Sally would become good friends with comedian Eddie Murphy and made several appearances at comedy clubs in the off-season. In 1989 and 1990, he played on two Pistons NBA championship teams. He is among the Pistons' all-time leaders in blocked shots, under the coaching of Chuck Daly. Sally was part of the Pistons era that featured three consecutive NBA Finals appearances. The team's defense-oriented style of play earned them the nickname of the NBA's Bad Boys. With Sally playing alongside Dennis Rodman, Bill Lamebeer, James Edwards, Joe Dumas, Isaiah Thomas, Rick Mahorn and Dantley. After losing the 1988 NBA Finals in seven games to the Lakers, the Pistons turned it around to sweep the Lakers in four games in 1989. Sally, and the Pistons repeated in 1990 defeating the Portland Trail Blazers in five games. The Pistons' run came to an end when the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls swept them in four games in the 1991 Eastern Conference Finals. Miami Heat, Toronto Raptors Sally was traded to the Miami Heat in 1992 and, a few years after that, was left unprotected by Miami in the 1995 expansion draft. Following a short stint with the inaugural Toronto Raptors team where he received little playing time, he negotiated a buyout of his contract. Chicago Bulls Three of his Raptors contract, Sally signed with the Chicago Bulls, where he played with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, and former Pistons teammates Dennis Rodman and James Edwards. The Bulls of 1995-96 achieved a record-breaking 72-win season, ending with victory in the NBA championship. After the championship, Sally retired. Los Angeles Lakers In 1999, Sally joined a Lakers team led by Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. He saw little action for the Lakers en route to their first of three consecutive NBA championships from 2000 to 2002. In 2000, he retired again following the first Lakers championship season after proudly proclaiming that he had won four championship rings with three different teams in three different decades. 
and two different millenniums. Post-basketball career John Sally had a role in Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. As a thick glassed computer hacking nerd who gets out of jail, because he helps cracking files for the Miami Police Department. In 1996, Sally appeared as a veteran basketball player alongside Whoopi Goldberg in the film Eddie, about a fan who takes over as coach of the New York Knicks. In the fall of 1998, Sally hosted the game show I Can't Believe You Said That, which aired on the Fox Family Channel. During that time, he also guest starred as a panelist on Hollywood Squares. In 2001, he made an appearance in the Luther Vandross music video, Take You Out. In 2003, Sally appeared in the Showtime TV film Coast to Coast alongside actress Selma Blair. In 2004, he was part of the panel of celebrity judges in the TBS Superstation show H.E.'s A Lady. In 2005, he appeared in the television series Noah's Ark as Victor. In 2006, Sally was named the commissioner of the American Basketball Association. In 2007, Sally appeared in the ABC reality television series Fast Cars and Superstars, the Gillette Young Guns Celebrity Race, featuring a dozen celebrities in a stock car racing competition. In the first round of competition, Sally matched up against professional wrestler John Cena and tennis star Serena Williams. Sally also became the host of the bet show Bowlers. Sally joined the cast of the reality competition show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here which premiered on June 1, 2009. He came in third place with Lou Diamond Phillips winner and Tori Wilson runner-up. On the show he became friends with Patty Blagojevich who is the wife of Rod Blagojevich. He also appeared in the movie Confessions of a Shopaholic in 2009 as a member of the Shopaholic help group, and had a bit role as a pimp in the black exploitation spoof Black Dynamite. He was one of the hosts of the best damn sports show period on Fox Sports Network. Sally hosted the John Sally Block Party, a radio morning show on Los Angeles station 100.3 The Beat from May 2005-2006 known for making racially disparaging comments while hosting the best damn sports show period on Fox Sports Network. For a short time, Sally provided analysis for NBC's NBA Showtime. Sally appeared in the Disney Channel original movie, The Ultimate Christmas Present as a Tall Elf. Sally hosted a podcast on Adam Carroll at Ace Broadcasting Network with sports writer Kevin Hench entitled Spider and the Henchman. The show was cancelled on March 18, 2011. Sally has also hosted VH1's Basketball Wives and Basketball Wives LA reunion specials. In 2012, he appeared as a celebrity judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. On an episode of Bravo's Millionaire Matchmaker, he acted as a consultant to Patty Stanger to help one of her clients become less of a plier and find a woman to settle down with. He is also ambassador for Operation Smile. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.